You don't have a knob. officially Thursday which means 24 hour quiet hours so I'm whispering just in case anyone's awake but yeah the paper got done pretty late <laughs> um usually when the new board comes and usually when you come home from break and come back from break and everything like paper is like the paper doesn't get done on time um it sucks but um, hopefully they'll work on it more next semester. This was my last paper. I'm gonna work as a columnist for the Ithacan, doing a blog about study abroad and like my experience with semester at sea, but um, that's it. I am done. That was my last time being managing editor. I submitted it to the website. That was probably one of the last times I'm gonna log in to WordPress. <sighs> a big chapter of my life is done. up in my own room and it looks crazy but basically um just got word that two people on the editorial board of the paper were confirmed to have covid um and there are people that abby spends with abby my roommate spends a lot of time with i sometimes hang out with them too they're my friends so um yeah i'm scared um alexis is coming to get me so i can go get rapid tested I'm wearing literally two masks and yeah I canceled I'm supposed to record like three more podcast episodes today and I canceled all of them being in person and I told them that we should do it over zoom and I'm about to go get tested but um what would my senior year my last week of college be if not stressful so um <laughs> of Darren, Chris, and the Warblers. We are good, we are negative, we are leaving, and I'm going home now. <laughs> uh, Do you wanna take the long one? Yeah, we can take the long, I ran through the snow for this. We're all good now. God. What's up everyone happy friday oh my goodness it's friday okay so i already went to the gallery today and i hung up my prints uh monica helped me and then we went and got duncan and everything um so that was the first thing of today the really only other thing i need to do is get the red carpet out of the park school for the screening tomorrow and then the gallery opens at six but i think we're gonna go at five to open a bottle and pop champagne or whatever to be like we did it woo and then i don't know when my mom and my godmother are coming but i have to clean my room before then because i tore it apart looking for this handy dandy 
vaccination card that I literally couldn't find until yesterday. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna text a couple people, see who can take me to the park school to get the red carpet. Then I'm going to probably um, finish cleaning my room and edit podcast episodes. So right now, um, Ileana's editing episode 19, which was Jalen and Tynesha, where we talk about the time our teacher said the N-word to us twice. Uh, really explicit, really, really uncomfortable. It was in my sophomore year, so it's been two years now. But something that's in it is we say directly where she's from. Uh, we like took her name out of it and already like we call it Professor X the entire time but we kind of say where she's from specifically so people who've had this professor before or like know of the situation because they've been here since my sophomore year so that would be like people who graduated last semester versus like my grade I don't think anyone who's a first year had her as a professor but I don't know so we're bleeping out where she's from so uh it's not like super specific so that's why the episode's taking so long um and then episode 20 is me kind of just recanting everything and kind of deep going deeper into my own identity and then um season two um uh Ileana and I talked to Casey Casey is our new org advisor if you weren't sure and she talk to us about each individual show having their own anchor which means that like when this is over I could keep it and like anchors free so distributing my podcast to multiple platforms like I can just keep going afterwards and I won't have to start from zero so that's super exciting so I'm calling it season two even though 20 episodes in season one I'm calling this season two um, we're going to start right on Anchor. I'm going to do an introduction and talk about how I'm abroad. Then we have Brian Almeida's episode. Then we have the Don Akari's episode. Uh, Taylor Volmerch, Sierra Adams, um, Chase Garvey, and Via Carpenter. Those have all been pre-recorded and that makes us at about seven episodes so far. Um, the president of the school, the interim president of Ithaca College, uh, President uh, Lejeune, she said she'd be on my podcast, um, but not right now because they were focusing at the end of the school year. I have to email them back and let them know that I'm going to be abroad. So if we wanted to record an episode, it would be in late April or May of next year because that's when I come back. Okay. I didn't record it, but I was really on the phone for an hour trying to schedule my booster shot appointment, but that is scheduled. Next, I went out with Bailey and we got the red carpet from the storage closet, so that's in his car. Um, so now I'm gonna clean my room before my mom gets here <laughs> and probably listen to a podcast, so.
end of the night on Friday. My feet hurt. I was standing literally all day. Um, and I know I did a lot of clips and I hope I added in some good photos, but yeah, this is amazing. Thank you everyone who came to support me. <laughs> happy saturday december 11th um wow i'm so tired um i got home from the gallery pretty like on time but i was doing last minute touching bases with burke and matt maroos and just seeing how everything for thesis was going so i didn't go to sleep closer to like one two and then I woke up so early, I woke up at a six something and I tried to stay in bed until seven, eight, but it's now 8 a.m. I'm gonna hop in the shower and get ready for the day. I am so happy, so excited. Um, obviously the gallery means a lot to me. Um, and honestly, I wasn't sure how proud I'd be of my work because I was self-conscious, but also like, th that's not 100% what I wanted it to look like. Um, but the printer breaking and kind of like and dealing with the cards I was dealt is honestly what was happening but um, Michael Lewis our professor actually really complimented it and uh, I almost started crying um, and a lot of my friends were really grateful for me being so open uh, thank you to all my friends who came thank you to like Neha, Maddie, Elizabeth, Brian or Borba uh, thank you to Quinn I saw Michael uh gray i saw a lot of people there and i know a lot of them were also there for other people uh because you have multiple friends in the show but like seeing you and getting to talk to you meant a lot to me uh ah! okay photo brain is off for like a couple hours until i get back and have to work on cpg and uploading my workshop website okay my alarm actually just went off so i'm gonna hop in the shower but uh Maddie Elizabeth and I are wearing blue. They're wearing a more dark blue. I'm wearing a light blue. We've been like trading outfits and talking about it. And yeah, I'm so excited, so. excited for the screening so it hasn't really hit me but my film they live forever is about my older brother and how my family's been dealing with the loss of him so today's gonna be an emotional day but I'm really glad that my mom and my godmother are here with me <sighs> Bailey Nick and Elizabeth will be here so soon so I need to stop crying but I'm gonna transfer my intro thank you speech into a notebook. I'm gonna pack a blanket and sweatpants and we're gonna have a great day. So, we're in this day theater! This is insane. Um, I cannot believe this is 
happening. We are. We're gonna be screen. So <laughs> we're gonna be screening. Um, I have my tea, my water. Elizabeth has been like keeping me calm before my speech. Um, I wrote my speech, so that's happening. So, yeah, I cannot believe we're here. I'm gonna go film around, look at the decorations and everything. But this is an amazing day. <laughs> theater sweatshirt that I bought today but basically I wore like this cute little frilly shirt and my purple pants I just got back from the range and I'm so tired but I got to see quail live and that was so much fun happy, su <laughs> <laughs> happy Sunday 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 it was brunch day um the capacity for this was a few more people, but it's just us and Abby, which is still a fun time. We're making bacon and pancakes, bacon pancakes, bacon, bacon pancakes. <laughs> and we have cinnamon buns done, and Alyssa already made the eggs. So eggs. 
we are having a great time over here before finals week commences. Yep. Good luck to Alyssa, who has finals, and most of my stuff's already done, so Woo! we're yeah. doing great. Yay. That. This is it. This is it. Okay. <laughs> These look weird, and that's only because it is dark chocolate, <laughs> and it's this like protein thing. You could also make cake out of this, so they look super thick and burnt, but they're not. I promise, I'm not poisoning Alyssa and Abby. That's my goal. I'm not it's gonna good. not gonna poison you. Wow, brunch. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> Ping pong tournament girl. Frankie.